Now let's see the performance of Blender software with Intel Xeon and Quadro RTX inside HP ZBook. All right, so I already have Blender 2.8 installed in my PC and I just downloaded a sample file which is available in blender.org. And this scene is really good. I will. So there is a little mouse sit sitting there and uh, this scene is really good. Let's just see how our system perform, uh, uses right now. CPU is 2% and the GPU is 1%. So that's actually nothing is in use. Okay. Now the thing is that when we see things live in the viewport. So this is the viewport. Yes. I did not press the render button. This is actually the viewport. And let's just see the viewport with shading. And now which we are seeing is actually the, uh, the scene is on viewport and now still our cpu and gpu is not in use so when the cpu will start using when you start navigating your viewport so this is interesting so guys this is the scene which you are seeing this is the viewport and now from this i'm going to rotate that okay can you see that this is the 3d scene here with all the lighting and this is where you are utilizing your quadro rtx full 99 percent because this graphics is you are able to render all this live because you have quadro rtx installed normal pcs cannot do all this thing in that much high quality so this is the quality which you are seeing in the viewport so this is actually the viewport let's just see in the lambert much easy right but how easy it is if you are seeing things in this way okay gpu is going high cpu is still fine but if the viewport is this then how about the render quality how the render looks like let's just go in the camera view again so this is the main view and this is the viewport let's just hit the render render the image and now i started the render that our cpu will be in use because i selected both cpu and gpu for rendering and here you can see is utilizing your full gpu and image is now rendering i just click it's like full scene sampling is 32 okay so render is complete so this is the render and guys this is interesting because i am not sure what is the difference in render and the live because it's almost same almost same right see i mean yes there are very minor differences but normally you can't basically in real time we are very much closer to what we should have in the finals so this is the viewport 3d viewport and this is the render interesting blender is seriously very very cool software okay what else we can see here uh i already showed you that it's it's complete 3d and that what we visualizing and just to show you i go to preferences viewport and quality is 32 which is the highest okay and uh, yeah so that's what we are seeing here actually there is one more option let's just see that also uh quality textures limit no limit uh anything else that we can do let us increase this also 16 i mean you with quarter rtx you can play with all these kind of settings without worry about things will be going mess like maybe just put it 4x and uh, image display method automatic is fine select multi sample 
okay let's close this and see this okay so zoom in correct right so with that you will get the idea about how easy it is to work on blender live with all these kind of shadings and it's actually apply this lighting since we are seeing this lighting is live so let's just try and uh, change some of the stuff for example i have this let me move move some of the stuff maybe we can just move the chair okay so i select the chair and and ca can you see the shadow here which is live correct and also the volumetric the volume fog and this is all real time very interesting of obviously it's, it's using your rtx card gpu full but let's just pull it right i mean it looks like it's like we are in unity or unreal engine very interesting we can make our look devs very fast we can visualize the scene faster we can make the look and feel of the entire show quickly with that this is interesting very very interesting i'm going to go more deeper inside blender development and coming coming with some more interesting tutorials for you guys because i really want to learn blender and i want to do some more interesting stuff in blender so i will share my own r and d's with you guys okay so i don't have any other software to review right now so it's already too late so now uh, let's just wrap this video and uh, i hope you like this video and you get some idea about what what is the performance of quadro rtx and intel xeon inside hpz book and uh, for me it's very interesting i really get some more power so i want to do some more research and developments and to make some more cool projects okay so subscribe this channel because i'm coming with some more interesting videos and more in-depth detailed videos of maya houdini and blender how you can utilize this with quadro rtx and all this and why rtx is very useful for you and also the interesting part is i'm going to make some videos for unreal engine that is how we can use unreal engine inside uh, cinematics and uh, film industry okay so there will be a lot of stuff coming soon please guys subscribe to vfx pipeline channel i will see you in my next videos thank you guys